Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Nellie. And today we are learning about the parables of Jesus. What's a parable? Is that like a pair of two bowls that you use to eat cereal in the morning? <laughs> no, not a pair of bowls. It's a parable. Oh. A parable is a made up story that's meant to teach us something. Jesus told us many parables in the Bible. Oh, that sounds really neat. What kind of stories did he tell? Did he tell stories about unicorns? Oh, or maybe a story about two big marshmallows that became best friends. Well, you're going to find out what kind of stories Jesus told today. But first, we're going to sing a song. Yay! So let's all stand up. And sing a song to Jesus! <laughs> this song is called Let It Shine. You guys, we're going to start by clapping our hands. You ready? Here we go. All right, now this song is all about how we can shine our light for Jesus. Jesus loves you so much, and we can show the world how much we love Him when we shine our light. Let's sing. Our light is from you. Sing it out. Our light is from you. Together we won't hide when we're living as we get of light. Sing, your light is ever brighter. Your light is ever brighter. Jesus, shine through shine on everyone around us. Sing shine your light, put your hand up. Shine your light, light, light. Make it bright, bright, bright. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Don't let it hide, hide, hide. Let it shine, shine, shine. For all the world Good job, you guys. Sing out, you are our savior. You are our savior who rescued us from the darkness that was our sin. Our light is from you. Our light is from you. Together we won't hide when we're living as we get of light. Your light is ever brighter. Sing it out. Your light is ever brighter. Jesus, shine through us so we can forever shine. Shine your light, here we go. Shine your light, light, light. Make it bright, bright, bright. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Don't let it hide, hide, hide. Let it shine, shine, shine. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Gonna stand out like a city on a hill. Where all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, we're gonna sing that out again. Let me hear ya. Let's go. We're gonna stand out like a city on a hill. Where all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, sing out, shine your light really loud. Shine your light, light, light. Make it bright. singing that song. That was great. You can all sit down now. Is it time for us to hear a parable now? Yes, it is. We are going to hear one of the stories that Jesus told us in the Bible, and it's a really good one. Oh, yay! I'm ready! I already have my listening ears on and my thinking cap. That's good. You're going to need your thinking cap because remember, Jesus tells us these stories to teach us something. So friends, put on your listening ears and your thinking caps too. And now it's time for us to hear a parable of Jesus! Yay! <laughs> Stories of the Bible. The Good Samaritan. This is Jesus. 
Hey. who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> What does the law say? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. Ah! They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> by chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, ah, yuck. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Oh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people, and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Wow, Jesus tells amazing stories. He really does. And did you learn anything from this story? Yes, I did. That's great. That's what Jesus wants. And you know, the more we listen to Jesus' teaching, the more we understand. How do you know that? Because the Bible says so. It does? Where? In Matthew 13, 12, Jesus said, to those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given and they will have an abundance of knowledge. Oh, wow, that's a lot of knowledge. Yep, and I think we should learn that verse by singing it. Oh, yay! Okay, everyone, stand up on your feet, not your head. <laughs> and let's sing Matthew 13, 12. Yeah! This is Matthew 13, 12. We're gonna start by marching like this. Let me hear you say, hey! And hey, one more time, really loud.
sing that all over again. To those who listen. Great job learning that verse through singing and dancing. Yeah. You can all sit down now. Hey, I've been thinking about the parable Jesus told. Yeah? Yeah, and I think there were some things I still don't get. Well, there's a lot of things you can learn from Jesus' parables, and I know somewhere we can go to learn more. Really? Where? Scuppet Scout Camp. Oh, I love Scuppet Scout Camp. Hey, can we practice the Scuppet Scout salute to get ready to go? Sure. We can clap twice, and then howl like... Whales! <laughs> no, not whales. Wolves. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay, let's do this. Everyone, do it with us. Howl! <laughs> <laughs> now I think we're almost ready to go to Scuppet Scout Camp. Yay! Let's put on our listening ears. And our thinking caps. And let's go to Scuppet Scout Camp. Yay! glad that you joined us at Scuppet Scout Camp. <laughs> yeah, today I'm trying to get my storyteller patch. And I think you will, Zara, but there's something that we have to do first. What do you think it is? The Scuppet, Scuppet Scout, Scout Salute! <laughs> right, let's clap twice and then howl like a wolf. Ready? Yep. Ready! Howl! <laughs> Good job, Scuppet Scouts. Now, before Zara tells her story, we need to hear about Jesus' parable. What's a parable? A parable is a story that Jesus told us to teach us something. Neat! Jesus is so cool! <laughs> do you know any other parables that Jesus told? I do! And I want to tell you about my favorite one. It's a parable of the Good Samaritan. Oh! Well, why was the samurai... samurai... Uh, uh, why was the guy good? <laughs> well, the Samaritan was good because he cared for someone who needed help. Whoa! He does sound good! Yeah! There were other people who saw the man hurting, but the Samaritan was the only one who stopped. Oh! Let me guess! Jesus told us that story because he wants us to care for others too? Yeah! That's exactly right, Winston. Jesus wants us to show love and care to others. But... But, Maddie, how do we show people that we care about them? Yeah! We can show them through our words and our actions. Sara, was there ever a time where you saw someone sad or hurting and stopped? Oh yeah, that's, that's how I met Abby. Oh, do you want to tell us that story? Yeah, okay, here I go. There once was a white scuppet who liked to play at the park. One day she was playing at the park when a bully came and took away her ball. The bully pushed her down and the white scuppet was very sad. By chance, a Flaprio flew by. But when he saw the white scuppet sitting there, he flew to the other side of the park and passed her by. Then, a pink scuppet walked by and saw her sitting there, but passed her by too. Then, a yellow scuppet came by. She was singing very loudly, so a lot of scuppets in the park didn't want to be around her. When she saw the white scuppet sitting alone, she felt sad for her. The yellow scuppet went over to the white scuppet and made her feel better. She asked her to play with her, and the two scuppets had a great time playing together. Wow, that's a great story, Zara. You have earned your Scuppet Scout storytelling patch. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good job, Zara. I really like that story because you helped out someone else. That's right, Zara. I love that you saw someone that was sad and alone and that you helped them. I know there's lots of times that I see other kids in Scuppets who don't have someone else to play with. I'm going to try to play with them. Oh, that's great. That's a great way to show that you care. Remember, friends, you can care for others. Look for ways to help them out just like the Good Samaritan did. 
Now, let's do our Scuppet Scout salute one more time, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do it! Oh, <laughs> that was so fun! I loved hearing those stories around the campfire. And I think I understand Jesus' parable more now. That's great, Melly. Friends, remember that Jesus wants to teach you so much through his parables. And when we listen to those stories, we will learn so, so much. So make sure you keep your listening ears on yeah. and your thinking caps with you so mm -hmm. you can learn more about the parables of Jesus. We love you so much. Yes, we do. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>